Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Watchman. Here at The Cheap Watchman, we talk about high-value watches. And today, oh my, it's another Invicta Pro Diver. This is the 42 millimeter version, which I was excited to get. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about this Invicta Pro Diver. So the Invicta Pro, I'm putting these on backwards. The Invicta Pro Diver has a bit of a, I don't know, soft spot in my heart. Why? Because it's kind of the first decent watch that I got that was mechanical. So my first automatic watch. And I got that in 2005 when I got out of the US Navy. Now, I was hoping to get a Submariner, or at least I was looking at Submariners, but of course I had not the money at that time. However, I did have Invicta money and I bought this thing 17 years ago. Still works, uh, very beat up, but still a fine watch. I would have, I wouldn't be scared to wear this outside into the, uh, into the yard here. Let's take a closer look at it. Um, you can see it's beat up pretty good. A little bit of a, uh, bent right here on the bezel. The uh, bracelet's a little bit shaky. Some of like this is starting to go. But with a little bit of TLC, I could totally get this thing uh, looking nice again. Put it on another bracelet or something like that. Clean it up. And, you know, it still works. It still keeps good time. So that one's a 38 millimeter. And the new one that I got in here today is the 42 millimeter. So this one, a little bit bigger probably a little bit better for my wrist i wear you know 41 42 watches millimeter watches usually are in my wheelhouse of being most comfortable 38s are okay but they're just uh, just a little too small it's a little bit too small let's take a closer look at this invicta pro diva looks like this one has been around since 2019 and it's a 42 millimeter case diameter. Case thickness, 14.2 millimeters. Bracelet's 22 millimeters wide if you want to get an aftermarket band or a different bracelet. This is uh, reference number 29178. So this is the 42 millimeter. All right, let's just take a closer look at it. All right, let's take a look at the dial. The um, dial, well, yeah, it looks pretty good. Traditional Mercedes looking hand on the hour. Looks like a pencil at the minutes and then the second is uh, long with a lollipop and then it i love the counterweight i know some people complain about the counterweight but i kind of like it it's got the wings see-through it's pretty cool then we have a triangle at the 12 o'clock position baton at the six baton at the nine date window at the three with d a decent cyclops it's not as not as crazy as the what was it steel dive let me see if i can find that sorry took me a while take a look at this uh cyclops on the on the steel dive whoa it's like you're looking into another dimension on the steel dive this one yeah it's pretty good this one oh my goodness i see my past and my future and it doesn't look good anyway cyclops on the invicta uh pretty good looks good to me the indices, there are some. So if you look at the 35 mark, um, mark, it looks like it's almost touching kind of the minute marker. But if you kind of get on it, it's slightly separate. Here's the takeaway for the minute marker. Some of them look like they are touching the minute markers at the periphery of the dial. Some of them, you know, you can see an obvious little space in there. So which one is right? Or should we have a space or should they all be touching? Because they're not all quite the same. But, you know, that's, I'm getting up on it. That's pretty critical for me to get up on it like that. For, what did I pay? I think I paid 70 something, but I got this one as an Amazon warehouse deal. If you've never gotten Amazon warehouse deals, I mean, usually the only problem was that there's something wrong with the packaging and someone had to open this but it didn't look like they had worn it so packaging was you know, a little bit beat up right now you can get them new for 95 dollars all right so hands are fine you know typical 
pro diver hands if we look at this blue one you know same style hands actually it looks like the 42 millimeter looks like the minute hand is a little bit skinnier but they have same seconds hands and stuff like that now the loom on the 42 millimeters does not have that faux patina like it does on the blue version and, you know this this one just looks a little bit you know new <laughs> No, this one kind of is supposed to look a little bit old. Uh, bezel on here. Bezel, 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 bezel is kind of hard to turn. If you get it down here, it's easier to turn. Um, then you kind of have to get up on top of it. So I'm going to have to take my gloves off. So bezel, not the easiest thing in the world to turn. But like, who are we kidding? People aren't going to be diving with this. Uh, speaking of which, what is the water resistance? It says 200 meters. And I've taken a, my Invictus in the pool. Now, I've never taken them diving, per se. Maybe to the bottom of the 10-foot pool. But anyway, uh, everything's been fine. I've never had an issue with an Invicta. Oh, my goodness. This is really hard to turn. We're going to try to get it back. The good news is, even though it's hard to turn... It does line up just one more one more you can do it one more or is it lined up nope we need one more ah oh, there we go uh the good news is it does line up perfectly so i actually kind of i've had a lot of 300 hundred dollar watches in here and even 500 hundred dollar watches and they all haven't lined up perfectly but for whatever reason the last two invictas that I've got in, like the bezel lineup is perfect, perfection. So I find that kind of ironic. Uh, let's take a look at the bracelet. This is a Jubilee style bracelet. Uh, very loosey goosey, but I haven't had any issues with it pinching hair and stuff. This Jubilee bracelet, not my favorite style of a bracelet. I prefer an oyster. And on a watch of this price range and quality, I would usually put it on a strap of some sort. Um, I did get these Artem straps in, which are pretty awesome. This one, though, takes a 22 millimeter. Right now, I have the Art Artem on my Orient. But, sorry. Oh, my goodness. But I think it's going on... Uh, this Invicta. I think that'll look lights out on the Invicta with the black two-tone band, black dial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's going to look awesome. Artem straps. Really good, man. These things are awesome. They're a little bit expensive, but if you have a bunch of watches that are 20 millimeters or 22 millimeters, check out some Artem straps because you can change them out. They have the quick release thing. Anyway, super high quality. I'm probably going to be doing a full video on Artem straps but they're awesome I'll link it I'll link it in the description okay bezel insert aluminum and if there's one thing I wish Invicta would do is like I know they've made Salida SW200 versions of the Pro Diver I wish they would do a ceramic insert I wish they would like lean into this make a $300 Pro Diver better bezel action better loom Ceramic bezel insert. I think it would be killer. Crown. One of the things I love about Invicta watches is the crowns. They're really good. And this one, if I'm comparing this one, and I know people aren't going to want to hear this, if I'm comparing the crown on the Invicta Pro Diver to the crown on the Orient, what is it? Kano? I legitimately, number one, I could never screw the crown in with gloves. Number two, the action on the Invicta the I guess the machining very smooth on par with much more expensive watches the Orient was a little bit gravelly and still is to the point where I think I'm gonna have to try to get some type of lubrication in there or even clean it up because there may be some gunk in it and that's a new watch I haven't it's not like I've trekked through the Amazon with that watch anyway it's a long way to go to say that the crown on the Invicta, real, real nice. Then you have the crown guards. Let's take a look at the case. Um, polished on the sides, not my favorite at all. I don't like polish on super affordable watches. Polish, polish, brushed here on top. 
One of the things that I did with my other Pro Diver and then polished around the bezel, the coin inch here. One of the things I did with my other Pro Diver is I took a Brillo pad to it and I knocked down the polish because I think a watch of this price, I just it just looks cheaper when it has the high polished areas instead of just being matte everywhere. So I knocked down the... Uh, the, po the polish on the side. I know people probably think that that's heresy, but I didn't like it. I didn't like the high polish compared to the matte. So I just think it looks more natural in matte than it does high polish. Like this looks cheaper to me than this. <laughs> so it's my watch. I can do whatever I want. I may do a video where I kind of do the same thing to this watch, but like how many Invicta Pro Divers do I need? I probably should send this one back or maybe sell it to one of my patrons. Which, by the way, if you want to support the channel, sign up for my Patreon because I'm buying all these watches. Please, it would help me a great deal. Uh, take away on the Invicta. Typical, good quality. Good quality. Little bit, maybe some alignment issues on the dial with the indices. But to be fair, a lot more expensive watches, you know, multiples of the price... I've come in here with alignment issues. Bezel action, a little bit tough. Bracelet, not my favorite. I mean, we can get into it. What We got the clasp here, stamp, scissor, whatever you want to call it. Invicta logo on here. Uh, this is a typical Invicta bracelet. Um, bracelet, good. It lays flat here. I mean, the clasp is good. Lays flat here. Better than my Steinhardt. No real sharp edges on the back. Um, four levels of micro adjustment. And actually, when I got it, I think whoever had this didn't want to take out a lot of links. So th it was all, they didn't take out any links, to tell you the truth. So the micro adjustment was all the way down here. And it felt a little bit off. So I, finally figured out okay they they got it all the way on this last hole so what i did was um took out i think three links and it's just a pin so you just push the pin out on one side and then moved it out to i guess the second to last micro adjustment here and i i get a very good fit with the jubilee since the links are so small you can get a very good fit but I just don't like Jubilee bracelet. I have another watch, well, one of the Islanders, and it has a Jubilee bracelet. I don't like that one either. And it's a much better bracelet. I I don't like the Jubilee bracelets. I don't know what to tell you. 95 bucks. I think it's a huge winner. I think it's tough to really compete with the Pro Diver. Um, people could complain about the logo on top. Frankly, I'm not, I don't love the Invicta logo. Up here on top, I wish it was maybe just some more writing, some Invictor, whatever. But listen, man, they sell a boatload of these watches. They don't care about what my opinion is on this watch. It could be so awesome, though. They put in a SW200 movement. Oh, this is the NH35A or whatever movement, the Seiko movement. But if you could put in an SW200 sapphire crystal, because this is a mineral crystal. But to be fair... Look at this thing. This is 17 years old, and I don't see, outside of the Cyclops, I don't see one scratch. Maybe right there? No. I don't see one maybe right there? Maybe down here. Maybe there's one scratch on this thing. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. In, it looks like inside the, the uh, dial here. Probably things have just come off over the years. Now, of course, look at the Cyclops. That's that's completely scratched up. But other than that, here's my... Okay, long way to say, like, does it really matter? This is 17 years old, and it barely has any scratches on it. So I think, of course, another winner with the Invicta Pro Diver at the price range. Could it be better? Of course. Of course. Um, with these, I like to put them on... Um, straps. I do have this one back on its own bracelet. And the bracelet on this blue, smaller variant, a lot heavier. So it feels a lot beefier than the 42 millimeter. And it's all, it's all bracelet. 
So this oyster style bracelet is a lot uh, better than this Jubilee bracelet. Jubilee bracelet feels chintzy even compared to this. I'm actually kind of surprised. I haven't grabbed this bracelet for a while. So the bracelet, the oyster bracelet, is a lot better. But that bracelet is not going to fit on the 42 millimeter, which is a shame. But uh, anyway, if you really want to, you can get an aftermarket bracelet. It's a winner, $95. I'll link it in the description if you want to take a look at it. But they do go on sale. And listen, Prime Day is coming up, the 11th and the 12th. I would imagine that there's going to be some killer deals on Invicta watches. So if you want to support me, just like the video and subscribe. Newer channel, so we're trying to get it off the ground. You can also help me out on Patreon. I don't even know what the Patreon. I'll link the Patreon in the description. I think you can also give me super thanks now. If not, I'll turn it on. Super thanks is just it's down by the share button. Click, buy me a cup of coffee, whatever you want. Don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So don't feel compelled to buy a super expensive watch. Buy what you can afford and enjoy every minute of it. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the cheap watchman.